Welcome. I'm James Duffy. I'm the producer of the Vigilante DVD package you're now watching. I'm thrilled to be joined today by Captain David Carey, a U.S. Naval Academy graduate of 1964. Captain Carey flew A-4s in the Navy from the 60s well into the 80s, uh, culminating in some time as the commander of an adversary unit. Welcome, Captain Carey. Well, thank you, James. I'm delighted to be with you today. Well, tell us a little bit about this vigilante footage we're seeing right here. Well, this, this particular footage right here is coming off of two cameras that are on the carrier. Uh, one, this one is actually embedded in the deck and looking up the glide slope. Uh, that hole in the crosshairs is the uh, optimal uh, glide slope area, and, uh, and, and also the vertical crosshair gives you the lineup. You can see he's a little lined up left now and he's correcting back to the right. Now he's on center line, and now he's right in the window, and he just almost lands right on top of you. Is the landing signal officer actually seeing this video footage? No, the LSO is not looking at it at all. The, the landing signal officer, LSOs, stand on a platform uh, on the, you'll see them right, we just went past the platform. It was that little black bulb on the side of the ship. Uh, and they, they are strictly watching airplanes. They're not watching anything else. These two fellows are, are doing field carrier landing practice, uh, and that's the LSO set up on the field. You can see the datum lights, the green datum lights back in the back left. On, every aircraft carrier will be equipped with those datum lights. They are, and in the center there's a, a white light. It's called a meatball, and the objective is to hold the meatball between the green datum lights. If the ball goes high, you're high. If the ball goes low, you're low. And if the ball goes real low, it turns red, uh, and you're real low. And so you, the, the way the pilots control the glide slope is by holding the meatball, the white light, in between those green datum lights. And the LSOs, uh, they watch so many airplanes that they know where the glide slope is just looking back there. And so they can tell if the airplane's high or if it's low. Uh, they can tell the airplane's speed by the angle that it's cocked up. You know, the slower you go, the more cocked up you get, the more angle attack you have on the airplane. And so they are watching the airplane for glide slope, airspeed, and lineup, which is all the pilot's concerned about in the cockpit. Now, the speed. pilot mm -hmm. has similar cues in the cockpit as well. Yeah, he has an angle of attack indicator. Uh, generally, it sits on the top of the instrument hood on the left, and so he's looking out of the left front of his windscreen, and he can look right through the angle of attack indicator, which tells him his airspeed. Uh, he's looking at the ball, and he's working on his lineup on the center line of the ship. And that's all they fly. They don't look at anything else. Uh, well, when they start down, they'll generally look at a, at a vertical speed indicator to see where they are. But once you, once you get on the glide slope and the closer you get to the ship, your scan is strictly uh, angle of attack, ball, lineup, angle of attack, ball, lineup, angle of attack, ball, lineup. And you just keep that scanning. That gets ingrained in the aviator yeah. after a while. Yeah. They, now we have a wave off here. Yeah. Or it look, this doesn't look like a wave off necessarily, mm -hmm. that we don't have the, the red datum lights. Yeah, they didn't turn on the datum lights. Uh, probably the pilot decided to go around. Uh, you, I mean, you have discretion in this thing. If it doesn't feel good to you or right to you, you can take it around too. Uh, if, the, if, if the LSO waves you off, then the red lights that are along the inside of the, along the sides of the mirror there, they start flashing. I think there's a that happens here shortly. Right, we're going to see that in just mm -hmm. a moment here. And they generally will wave an airplane off. There goes one. Uh, because they, uh, it's critical, there are the wave off lights alongside the lens. Um, it's critical that the pilots respond and respond properly uh, to a wave off. And so every time you go out for practice, uh, generally the paddles will wave you off once or twice. 